What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your microphone sound just like mine. Check this out. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts provide the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind, one minute at a time. All right guys, first things first, I'm gonna talk to you about is go down into your window settings, guys, and open up your sound settings, go into your device properties for your microphone. You guys can see right here, I have mine set at 81 in Windows. You guys can turn yours down a little bit and then boost it up within Streamlabs. You guys wanna have not a very hot microphone in your window settings. The Yeti is a very hot condenser microphone, which means that it picks up everything all over the place. And what we're gonna try to do is drown out the background noise, compress our noise, so or our voice so that that's the only thing that you hear and you don't hear anything else. All right, and we're gonna do this and accomplish this by adding filters. And we're gonna use the ones that are within Streamlabs and then one that is Reaper. It's a Reaper VST plugin. And that link is gonna be down below. You guys can go down there, get it, download it, install it and all that good stuff there. All right, so the very first filter that I have is noise gate. Noise gate, what this one does, guys, is whenever you are clicking on your keyboard or you're open, you're talking and then you're quiet, Think of it like this, when you talk, the microphone opens, and then when you're not talking, the microphone will close. What this does is ensures that there's not that dead static air, so when you quit talking, you get that nice dead air sound right here, and you can see that my microphone shuts all the way off. And that's done with the noise gate. A limiter, what this does right here at minus 10, this ensures that if I get really, really loud into the microphone, that it will peak and will only let it get so loud it'll never get into the red and it'll never stop popping and clipping into people's ears and then it'll get too, too loud. A compressor, what this does is it takes all your lows. So if you're not so excited in a point of the game or whatever is happening, so if you get too quiet or if you get real, real loud, this is going to compress your, your voice depending on your vocal vocal range so if you depending on your vocal range i would say don't go higher than a ratio of four on this keep your threshold at negative eight attack at six your release at 60 and your output gain keep this on zero side chain ducking keep this on none for your ratio again this is going to be dependent on your voice right here i would start at 1.5 and then increase it to four and then test it right there back and forth so record a little bit of yourself uh, and then record yourself saying this is at 1.5 setting and then say something and then at 2 setting and then at 2.5 and then you know just talk after it and then you'll hear after you record yourself what the best ratio for your compression is for your vocal range depending on if you have a bassy voice a mid-tone or a soprano again i have this turned up to 1.7 because again i have it turned down in windows so that's uh yeah i don't get that real staticky sound dead air sound that's in the back and then i boost it up within Streamlabs. vst plugin this is reaper this is the one that i was just talking about you guys are going to go down into the comment section or down into the video description section and you're going to be able to download this and this one comes along with all kinds of standalone pro plugins and uh eqs and compressors and all kinds of other stuff delays and all kinds of other stuff i use uses strictly just for the EQ and when you open this up this is what it looks like right here okay and the reason that I use this is because I have a real bassy voice and you want to take out all of the bass naturally that's within your voice anyways unless you are a female or you know a guy that has a, a higher pitched voice you don't want to take out too much bass then but if you're a, a, a fellow that has or just anybody in general that has a real mid-tone or real low tone voice you want to take off all the bass and then you want to turn down down your tones your second tones to be right around in here you can adjust this to be around into the 250 to 100 range turn that down and then have your three the number three setting right here keep this around the 1k boost your 3k's up that way that everything that's on the high end will start to be able to pick up and your voice and it'll start to balance out you pull all the lows out that's within your voice if i turn this off right here we'll turn the my vst off and you guys can hear the difference between the vst right now versus the vst EST that is on. Uh, noise suppression. This right here will just pull out a little bit more further of the dead air sound that is in within behind you. So as you're talking, you guys won't hear that <sighs> noise that's within there, that just dead air staticky sound. Uh, again, compressor mics like this, they they are 
condenser microphones like this. They could print all the, the all of the sound, and you know wherever it is that it's loud at, it gets very hot. So naturally, the suppression level starts at 60. I would go five, six, or seven. I wouldn't go any higher than a suppression level of about seven. This setting right here again is just to remove some of the dead air background static. Yeah. Now, when you're talking into your microphone right here, as you guys could see, I have my mic setting set to be about right here, which means that it's right in between the green and the red. You don't want this to be up here into the red where you're clipping and you don't want it to be down here into the green where it's too low. That way your in-game microphone, uh, in-game sounds when they are happening, whatever your game is, I have this turned down all the way to be about the midpoint. That way, whenever I do talk, it is louder than my game sounds. Now, if this has helped any of you guys out, make sure that you click all the little buttons down there and go down there and download the uh, Reaper VST plugin, install that into your Streamlabs, and then set your EQ for your voice accordingly. I'm Lockout. Peace. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button. Won't you subscribe to me? Lock out for buying the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time.